What is up guys, my cat hates me here, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up a uh, Call of Duty 4 server uh, with mods. Uh, but for this mod I'm going to be using uh, Death Run 1.2 by uh, Braxy here. Um, so what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is go on the uh, Braxy.org website. Uh, you don't even need to log in. Scroll down here, go to Discussion. Now you can select what version you want, 1.1, 1.2, or 1.02 here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do 1.2 just because that's the newest version and a lot of people have been wanting that one. Um, but uh, it is in beta, so but and I doubt, I don't think it's ever going to be released, like fully, but 1.3 is going to be though. So uh, go ahead and stay tuned for that. Um, oh, go ahead, right click, open link in new tab, because I did that earlier and it came up with some weird, I don't even know. So you're going to want to hit uh, this button right here, click here to start to download from SendSpace, and it will download the file as I'm doing right here. I'm getting uh, some amazing speed right there. Wow. Anyways, um, and you're also going to want, while that's downloading, you're going to want to go into your main drive here, and you're going to want to program files, or program files x86 if you have it, locate your Activision folder, uh, and find, I installed mine to a different, into my uh, root because I had problems with here and it said somewhere on a forum to do it to your root. So you're going to want to go to Activision and you're going to want to choose your Call of Duty 4. If you have multiple versions, choose the version that you want to, uh, that you want to make the version of. So you just right click, copy it here, and then you're going to want to right click, paste it, and I've already done it here. And I renamed it to COD 4 just because it's easier in the long run when you make something like that. So after that, you're going to want to open that folder. I have the mod tools installed, so I don't know why I copied all the mod tools. It's just added extra space. You're going to want to go into your mods folder, um, and you're going to want to go back to your file that you downloaded here, open it up, and just like this. And you're going to want to create a folder in here, call it whatever you want. Um, I'll just do death run test here. And you're going to open that up, highlight all these, click and drag them right into there. And you now have a mod set up on your server. But to run the server, included with the uh, here, actually I'll rename it to AAA Death Run or something like that. Just so, it's, just so, it's, just so that it's at the top of my uh, top of my list here. Oh wow, not even at the top. Um, hold on, I'll make it ZZZ then. Oh, it's probably not advisable to have Z, because I think something with IWDs, you're not supposed to... Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is you go into your base folder here. See this IW3MP here? You're going to right-click, uh, <laughs> create shortcut, and you can either keep that shortcut here, or you can move it onto your folder, onto your desktop here. And what you're going to want to do... You can either, it's either you can do that right there, or you can take um, the run dedicated server.bat. And if you want to do that, you're going to want to go to edit, and see this whole area right here? See how it says mods death run 1.2? We renamed the folder to ZZZ death run in this case. So you're going to want to go here and go ZZZ underscore death run. And you can basically, not even enter, you want to just uh, save. And so once it saves, you can just double click, and it will load up the batch file. And basically, you have your server. Although it did not even open up a map here. Because error could not exec. No, wait. Could not. Yeah, I don't have long, I don't think. So you'd have to go in here. But you want to edit your. Gosh darn, not, that's the wrong config. You want to edit your server config. I go down to maps here. Map rotation. Um. And so you can delete that if you want and replace it with the maps that you currently have, which you can find by going into your your server folder, user maps, and all these maps here. So I can go map mp death run R base, map mp death run Azteca, map mp death run I don't even know what maps I have in here because I haven't played. Uh, backlot, I'll do backlot and cave and then I'll be done. Backlot, map mp, death run, cave. So, go ahead and save that as what you want, um, but you want to make current to a map that you have in your folder. So I'll just do rbase just for the heck of it. Save it. 
Uh, go back to your mods folder, ZZZ Death Run, run dedicated server. And boom. Wait, why is it trying to run in long? I am being retarded again, aren't I? This happened. Oh, there we go. That's why. It's right there. Uh, right click here, edit. Sorry for the rookie mistake here. I haven't done this in a while. You can just map, map, rotate. Rotate is a better one to use than MP, the map, whatever. Um, so go ahead and do this. Oh, it's underscore rotate, not... I am blanking here. I haven't done this in a long time. Map underscore rotate. Save it. And run it. And now you can see those IWDs all loading. And there you go. All the maps have loaded. And you basically now have your server. Um, so, alright, I still have six minutes here. I can go ahead and do it. Um, but what you can do is go back into your folder here. If you want to use this shortcut instead of going to run dedicated server dot bad every time, you would go you can go to edit here and you just want to get see right where it starts this plus. You want to highlight and copy that. Open here uh, properties space paste it. And then so it'd be plus set space fs underscore game space apostrophe mods backslash your death run folder name space plus set space dedicated space to space plus set space net underscore port space 28960 plus set space g underscore game type space uh, quotation death run quotation space plus exec space server dot cfg space plus map underscore rotate and then you hit apply okay and so instead of going into here and cutting run dedicated server every time you can just double click the shortcut here and it will do the exact same thing um, so the ports that are needed to be forward are 28960 is the main one I believe I already have them, but but to figure out what ports you need to, to uh, do to forward, you go to start, CMD, IP config, um, and so you look for your default gateway here, and in my case it's 192.168.2.1, and you go 192.168.2.1, and you will go right in here. Uh, you will go into virtual servers. Uh, I took off the password just for this. And you will go... Oh, and also while you're in the CMD, IP config, you will look at your IPv4 address, 192.168.2.5. That 5 is very critical because under your private IP address, you want to change that to 5. Um, I have It changes all the time for me. Um, so for COD4, it is 28960, and 20810. And you're going to want to put those in and apply those. And so now that opens up your port for public use. So when you start your server, and then, so you want to start your server first. Always start your server first, otherwise it will open up on port 28961, and it will not open for other people. And so then after that, you want to go, go ahead and launch your Call of Duty 4. Make sure it's the same matching version if you're running multiple versions. And you can either go slash connect 137.0.0.1 and it will go ahead. Oh shoot, I didn't oh I didn't download the mod to myself. But basically that's the server. Um, I will copy it real quick. So basically all I did was I just copy I just uh, I paused it there and I went back. I went to my computer, copied the mod folder from in here into my game folder so it's in both my server folder and my game folder run the server uh, hold on one sec let me start up a new record because I only have a 10 minute limit I have a 10 minute limit alright and so then you want to launch your game and you can go join game local if you'd like if that floats your boat okay or it cannot oh game mode 
I think I took off mods or not. Oh well. Uh, slash connect 127.0.0.1. Go ahead and it will load right in for you. And there it is. Ta da! There it is. Your server's all set and ready to go. And you can just do some of these. If you'd like, anything really works. Um, I'm not really here to show off my death run skills here. I'm not even really that great of a player. But, um, so yeah, that's the server. And everything you're going to want to edit, if you want to edit something like, say, the free round time limit, bunny hop, but you want bunny hop enabled, you're going to want to want. Ugh, I cannot talk today. Um, open up your folder, the mod folder, go to mods, your mod folder, go to server.config. You can edit all that. You're gonna, you are going to want to edit your Archon password. Change that. You definitely want to change that. Um, for a redirect, I don't know really how to help you there. I really don't. I can't help you on that one. Um, but that's how you're going to get people to download fast so they don't download it like 8 kilobits per second or whatever. And then so death run config, this is all the death run stuff like that. And so these are your ad, this is your admin stuff. And so, if you what you want to do is if you can go oh, while you're in console, what you can do is while you have your console, type in status, and right here it will um, it will show you all the players, the number, the score, the ping, and the GUID. The GUID is what you want of a player for the admin control for the admin panel here. So you're going to want to go to here. Let me make this smaller over here. So. See the permissions right here, A, B, C, D, all through X? You can go all the way right here, and this shows you what each one does. And so you want to go set DR admin, admin uh, zero, or actually I'll just do two because the other ones are already being used. And see right here, my login. So you're going to want to create a login, like a login name, such as here, I'll just do cat as my login name. My password will be, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, A, B, C. And then your your permissions are going to be A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O X. And then you want to get once you get your GUID from this thing right here, you want to get you want to have the last eight digits of it. And so, so then you also do set dr admin. Oh, this will be set dr admin two, and this one will be set dr admin login pass two. And so both these numbers have to match because this will match, your login password will match with your GUID. And so it's DR admin 2. Um, GUID, so whatever it is, these last eight are right here under your name, they're going to be different letters and numbers here. Um, that, I just made that up off the top of my head. Do not use that. Um, the nickname that you're going to want to use when you're logged in, so I'll just do cat again. That one doesn't really matter, and permissions again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, and X. So you're going to want to go ahead and uh, save that here, and you will restart the server. And so next time when you log into the server, there's a bind on uh, to do this. Hold on, let me get it here. It is under the discussion table. Um, people seem to have a lot of problems with the admin control panel. I really don't understand why. Um, it is really not very difficult at all to use. Um, like, see right here, you have to have both the. Well, you have to have the login pass and the set dr admin. And so. So you're going to want to get the bind, the bind here. You can bind any key you want. So you're going to load your actual COD for game. This has been a really sloppy tutorial, I apologize. Load up your game. You're going to go into your console, bind whatever, and see how it says my login, my password? So remember what you what you just put in in the server config here? 
that my login, my password, so I remember I put cat123 abc, so that'll be, this will be 123 abc, and then my login will be cat, and so you push enter there, and now it binds it to x, so if you want to join, you go ahead and join your server again, ah, oh, gosh darn it, um, slash connect, 127.0.1, and once you get in, and you can go ahead and find it. It says incorrect username or password because I didn't, I didn't uh, actually put in the correct. I didn't put in the correct GUID here, and so that's why it says incorrect because that everything has to match. So that's that. That's the whole admin panel. Installing plugins, I'll show you guys how to install plugins also. You want to go into plugins here. Plugins.gsc. And so say you want welcome.gsc here. So you will go right here. Braxy made it nice and clear. I'm being serious, that was not sarcastic. Load plugin. And there's a whole example right, in, right on top of it. So plugins because that's the name of the folder here. It's basically a folder path, Sp backspace. And say I want to do the welcome. So I'll do welcome. See how welcome.gsc, you'll do welcome, two colons, init, common, welcome message, because it's that's a short, a short description of what you want it to do. And then the author, who was Braxy. And then that's basically, then you'd save it. And boom, plugins installed. If you want to edit it, you'd actually open up the welcome.gsc itself. And so, and so, see here, it's just you can right here. It's you can edit these in the welcome message and stuff, other stuff like that. And so, when you load the server, it'll actually load all that in. Um, I think that's about it. All you guys need to know. If you want to put user maps, you put them in the user maps folder here. Under, under uh, your actual root directory, you get user maps and you put all the maps in here. But make sure to also update them in your server config file. Um, mods, you want if you ever need to update the mod or change the mod, you edit the server config and death run config. Or the drsongs.config, that's how to edit the names of the song. But if you want to edit the songs themselves, you have to open up the death run, wrong IWD, death run sounds IWD sound miscellaneous and you and you re and you replace these these files right here but that's about that I won't I won't get into detail about that um, but for the most part that's how you set up a Call of Duty 4 server if anything's unclear which I'm pretty sure there was I this was not a good tutorial at all um, but I guess it's a little more clear hopefully this one will go in HD I don't know what happened with the other one when I uploaded it last time it uploaded it in terrible quality but um, anyways thanks for watching guys I'm out also, another thing, guys, is uh, make sure to stay on my channel. I will be uploading uh, Death Run commentaries, Age of Mythology, Call of Duty 4, other mods from Call of Duty 4, um, zombies from World at War, a um, ton of other mods, actually. Been trying to get my YouTube channel up, so uh, go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to. See a bunch of tutorials and uh, commentary from uh, yours truly, Cat. I'll see you guys later.